Hello, I'm Peter Jacobson. I'm a school teacher at Fairbolt High School, and I teach a class called Field Biology. And this year we're adding a new element to it. We're having an internship at Riverbend Nature Center for students to actually be field biologists um, at a public site. And the Riverbend Nature Center is a great science lab. It's a huge lab. We've got several biomes here to look at or where biomes kind of overlap. We've got the prairie, we've got the woods, we've got a very nice uh, river system here as well and some wetlands. So um, what a great place for students to discover new things about nature and, and do some science. Um, the internship is going to be set up where the students are going to be doing some work for me and my big interest is learning a little more about carnivores and we're going to do some sense station studies with uh, fox and raccoons and what other, whatever other animal might approach a unique sense station and what we're trying to do is we're trying to analyze the population or at least develop a population index to see where the population of carnivores are here in Riverbend. We may find coyotes, may we find red fox. We might find that we have a lot of cats coming to visit Riverbend. It'll be interesting to see what the students discover. We're going to incorporate a, a tried and true method that the DNR uses. It's been a method that they've been doing for over 40 years. It's a sense station study along roadways. We're going to actually use it along trails. Um, but we're going to add one more element to it. We're going to put out some trail cameras to actually try to take pictures of the animals coming to these sense stations. In the past, we've had to identify the animals by the footprints they've left behind the night before. So this will be a study that the students will take part in. Riverbend has asked us also to participate in the managed deer hunt. So these students will be helping out with the process of identifying um, the number of deer or again coming up with an index, maybe not necessarily a population, but a baseline index of deer in Riverbend. And we're going to try to use trail cameras again to try to do that. But there are some other techniques that they might explore. Maybe it'll be a spotlight survey. Maybe it will be a tracking survey. Um, and I'm going to let them do some research to design it themselves. But I think we'll use the, the trail cam is, is one that I'm going to challenge them to use. And then I also know that Brittany is interested in having them actually participate uh, with working with the hunters and, and looking at the animals as they come in. Um, and we will do kind of a, um, a quick analysis of age, sex, uh, health condition, um, and, and trying to gather some information about the deer. We may even, uh, and we haven't explored this, and this is the cool thing about this, this project is we're going to learn as we go. Uh, can we do some sampling, tissue sampling, for uh, identifying if chronic waste is uh, something that might be present in the, in the deer herd here or not? So we are working uh, with Riverbend, and I know Riverbend is hooked up very closely with the DNR on the deer hunt. So we have a, a neat opportunity there. Um, students also can propose their uh, own study that they'd like to. You know, these students will have gone through my wildlife field biology class or they're already, or they're currently in it, and they may wanna do an extension of a study they've learned about. So they're gonna also have an opportunity to develop their own field study. This is kinda like the capstone class for a biology student. Um, many of the experiences that they're gonna get in this capstone class as well as the field biology class are experiences that many college students don't even get an opportunity to do. I can't tell you how many times I've been out in the field and working with uh, DNR biologists or US Fish and Wildlife biologists or, or other uh, people involved in wildlife management that have said, wow, we never had anything like that class in high school, let alone in college. We didn't have this many field experiences. So I really feel like we're giving our students here at Faribault just great opportunities. Thank you.